What up, YouTube? So, uh, here with my last show reading of the night. Um, I will have made it to my goal of 13 show readings. So, from here, the show community gets to get served on a daily basis. And, uh, things will be alright. And, uh, appreciate you guys for bearing with me. But, uh, I had nine videos done in one day. Uh, I was thinking that, uh, you know, I talked to my neighbors a little like I should be able to, uh, start recording at like four something in the morning it's usually about the time i wake up four or five o'clock in the morning give or take but so when i'm always out here to the shed i can actually start doing my tarot videos so that'd be cool that'll make me a little more constant for you guys and uh i got some goals for um how many videos i want to do a day uh because if i do everything right i should be able to start setting myself uh at a release once every hour and a half okay between my explanatories between my uh tarot and all, all whatnot uh in my uh start a youtube channel is i'm gonna break those up into more consumable portions and so so anyways so uh you boy right here what I'd like to do is, uh, I'm doing a 365 day challenge of doing YouTube, uh, see where it gets me to, and, uh, I want to do it right, and so I want to see if I can manage to, uh, get enough content for the year, uh, for sure at release and at six or three hour intervals, but I really, 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 really would be super cool if I start creating myself enough content so that I could release every hour and a half that would be solid just i mean like because my thing is i ain't got no subscribers i got my wife as a subscriber i think uh i think is that no i mean i know that but i'm saying i, I think that's the only subscriber i have so far uh but that's all good and uh like i say when i come on here and i see that number of videos that i put on there going up i'm like yeah i'm doing it i'm working on it you know what i mean so, uh, so anyways, though, but, uh, as I said at the beginning of every reading, this right here represents your logic and your mind, what you're thinking. This right here represents your emotion, what it is that you're feeling. Boards on the end represent what you would see if you could see through the veil. Boards next to that represent the veil. Boards right there more towards the middle represent the present and what it is that, uh, that you actually can see. Uh, uh I'm going to go ahead and ring this singing bowl. Now, I want to say real fast, the uh, reason why I'm bringing the singing bowl is uh, in the attempt to uh, connect our energy. So I'm attempting to tune into your energy with, uh, with, my, with my ringing of the singing bowl. Uh, and uh, I chant Lord Ganesha's mantra in order to remove all obstacles and barriers between us. You have my permission to connect with me during this tarot reading. Now, what I need from you is, uh, I need your permission to connect with you during this tarot reading, which I'll ask for for I ring the bell. But uh, the thing that you could do in the 3D world, whereas I'm here ringing, ringing this bell, is uh, you could simply hit the like, share, and subscribe button. And if you fill out to it, you can leave a comment. And uh, I say to you, the thing is, that's what you can do in the 3D world, just like I'm doing what I can in the 3D world, for us to connect in the 5D and have this here tarot reading. All right, uh, be blessed. Here we go. So, you have my permission to connect with me during this tarot reading. May I have your permission to connect with you? Thank you. Om Yam Ganapate Namaha Om Yam Ganapate Namaha Om Yam Ganapate Namaha very nice. Thank you. Alright, so. Been uh, up and down off this floor all day. Alright, so. These are your. Uh, I'm going to show up these in here. These are your. What it is that you uh, are thinking. I'm going to get this shuffled up. Like I said, I shuffle these three times. Now these get red that way, that way, and that way. And so I shuffle them like that, and I shuffle them three times, and I chant Lord Ganesha's prayer. 
or monster to remove all obstacles. So, Those are shuffled. Get these, I gotta shuffle these right real fast. Three times. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to start with uh, what it is that you are able to think or perceive in your present. Turn the sign on. Just that message right there up top. And it says, You have or will receive money real soon. So I haven't received any money soon or recently. So <coughs> this must mean real soon. So whereas this is in your perspective. So in my case, I know that I have jobs as far as carpentry and painting and whatnot coming up. And so, uh, so that could represent my, I will have money coming here soon. Yours could be job opportunities as well. Let's take it as it applies. Now, what it is that you can't see through, or what it is that you see and you can't see through it because it's in your way, is this. And it says, a relative is or will be ill, but will recover. So, as I explained, uh, illness can also be in how people react towards us. You feel me? Uh, illness uh, does not necessarily have to mean sickness. Illness can mean how someone thinks of you, how someone reacts towards you. Maybe maybe they think ill of you. You understand what I'm saying? Um, so, there's that. And in conjunction with you... Or you have or will receive money real soon, then um, <laughs> this is talking about a, uh, a coming together of peoples. So this is talking about a uh, differences being settled and um, somehow that aligning financially as well. I don't know how. Now, if you could see through the veil and uh, your relative getting ill but will uh, soon recover, you could see. You are one who stands by a person who needs you. So the person who needs you obviously being the person who gets ill but will recover. Okay. But we start this off with you have or will receive money real soon. So ill also could be financially. Okay. And so it's, in a way, it's its own blessing because it's saying that you'll be financially well off enough. Be able to take care of yourself and someone who is not financially well off. And uh, you are one who stands by one who needs you. So this is an acknowledgement. Number one, family member 
probably going to be in, in need of money here soon. And you're the one who's going to step up for him. Don't know if that's bad news. Don't know if that's good news. That's there for you. <laughs> now, when it comes to how you currently feel, you feel the rat. This one came up earlier. Shrewdness, restlessness, adaptability, resourcefulness, survival, sense of adventure, frankness, self-assuredness, and cleverness. <laughs> so, with being your cousin, I'd say that currently, uh, just like myself, uh, you are going through financial situations. And that's causing the fact that you will receive money here real soon to be a uh, good news. Um, <clears throat> but you're already in survival mode. Okay. Now, even though you're in survival mode, that's not what's in your way. What's in your way, or what you can't see or feel through is... Bore. Stubbornness, thick skin, loyalty, sociability, persistence, fortitude, appreciation, uh, adamance, I don't know, uh, and tenacity. So, what it is, is that just like me, you ass is broke, okay? But that don't matter to you because you're stubborn enough and thick skin enough that you're just going to keep hitting that wall, hitting that wall, hitting that wall, hitting that wall, hitting that wall. Hitting that wall. When that happens, you're going to end up receiving money. But to let you know, when you end up receiving money, you're going to end up having to have this thick skin and this stubbornness because somebody will get ill financially. Do you understand? <laughs> so, what it is that you would see if you could see through your thick skin and your stubbornness is dolphin. Playfulness, enjoyment, celebration, altruism, harmony, joy, togetherness, care, love, and compassion. So you have to have care, love, and compassion in order to stick by. Someone who most needs you. Okay. Um, but what you might not see When this happens and they get ill, is the joy, love, care, and compassion. Do you get me? So, ultimately, even though they send the bell, this is what you need to focus on. Be thick skin, be stubborn, keep hitting that wall, baby. Okay? Because. Again, it's going to lead you somewhere financially. It's where you can take care of someone who can't take care of themselves financially. Essentially, to me, that means double income. Have yourself a great day.